what are you nerding out about now? Well, you nerds got in here before I did and put a lot of things. So we're starting with solo leveling. <laughs> now, let's play a game, Kurt. Let's play. We carried it on. You invented a great game here on this show. It is guess what the anime is about from the title. All right, Kurt. Yep. So we played it even with, uh, we had uh, Stephen Adams on, H&H, &H, Stephen, yeah. you know, last oh, week. We played life. it with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, we played the game and it was fun. So here's the game, Kurt. Yeah. Now, whether you've seen it or not, whatever. And I haven't. I haven't. Okay. So the title of yep. this anime is called Solo Leveling. Yeah. What's it about? Okay. So if if Sword Art Online taught me anything, it's that <laughs> this dude gets sucked into a a video game which becomes his reality, and he has to make it through the level by himself, uh, without any help or be condemned to Hades. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to be respectful, Joe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for all of eternity or until Pikachu rescues him. <laughs> you're very, all, and honestly, you're very close, and it's, it's even better. But here, we got this from random kid. Council of Dads or Daddy Daycare? <laughs> we can Daddy be, Daycare, we're... terrible movie. All right, but it's not how he meant it, though. Yeah, <laughs> drop the dads off for the yeah, oh. thing, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it is about it. Um, so yeah, this guy. But here's the better part: it's a world set more, more, more or less in the modern day society, right? But these portals started opening it up, opening up. These rifts started happening, and when that happened, this D and D kind of stuff started happening. Like there's goblins in one. There's this, so they call them dungeons. They they understand these are dungeons, and there's awakenings in human beings to get power. So then they got rank. So it became almost this real life D and D thing. They're hunters, right. and then yeah, the main character that we're following does these things, and something happens that we still don't fully understand even at the end of the first season and so while everybody is working on things almost game like he is almost in a video game he's he's the only one that sees these video game level type notifications and and yeah he is leveling up uh as a character almost but it's still a real world setting it is joe we were talking about this i called you on the way uh uh to the florida uh, when you said we, you thought we could talk about it on the show with minimal spoilers, it is way better than it deserves, Kurt. It is, <laughs> it is nice. so good. I mean, it's and the reason I say it that way is one, how I approach any media is I'm behind the times, right? And, and even like Demon Slayer, it was three, four seasons in before I right. got on board, right? And because that's how I'm introduced to those things, I can assume every anime that I find interesting has been out for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm getting tired of this trend of me jumping on the new stuff because one, <laughs> there's only one season that's brand new. But but I also expect a certain level of of well, demon slayerishness, right? We talked about that. The tropes, the screaming and the funny. There's okay. none of that in solo this, leveling. This thing, this thing is this thing is right up there with like Game of Thrones and 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 not it, not darkness like that, but that just that it grabs you and but it is in. it is brutal so it is it is not oh, yeah there's some diff definitely yeah, some it, violence yeah, to it. yes yeah that <sighs> doesn't bother that doesn't bother me uh so i i mean i've got it queued up i i just I, based on uh based on the discord which you can join anytime <laughs> you would like uh just check the show notes um so um yeah so it, it looked like everybody was kind of on board for with it so i'm gonna give it a shot uh, it's it's literally queued up in a tab right now. So I brought it up a few weeks ago where I'd found the game first and I, I it lost me a little bit because I thought I was going to do well. I, I realized now I thought I was going to be that bottom level character and figure it out. No, you're playing through the show and it's amazing. And um, uh, it wasn't civilian on base. It was one of our other regulars maybe, that that was into the game as well and thinks it's amazing. And I'd say watch the show. It's really good. It, it was then, civilian, by the way. It Sorry. was civilian, okay. Then download the game because you're playing. When I say you're playing through the episodes, they are putting up the actual, I mean, it's rendered so well, some of the actual scenes from the anime, and then you're getting to play some of the battles that didn't play out on the show. 
Okay. And you're getting to kind of get involved that way. And then, of course, like any other mobile game, they have, oh, you can go on just this random task, that random task. And, um, yeah, it's it's very interesting. So, Joe, you I got to gush about it, but you well, you finished it right before I did, uh, a few weeks before I did, I think. <laughs> no, I've watched it through three times. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, a few weeks before I did. That's what I said, Joe. <laughs> and, and after you and I talked on the phone, I rewatched it again over the last few days. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it it is very, very good. Um, the people making it said they have it uh, planned out for six seasons. I don't know if it's actually been renewed for six seasons, but it has confirmed that season two is going to come out before the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, uh, good stuff. Very good stuff. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's, it is... It, it's amazing. It really is. And I, I linked in um, the Discord one of the songs from one of the middle episodes. And, man, it is such a good yeah. song. Um, let's see. So that people can Google it if they're interested in it. What was it? It was like Dark Aria version 2 or something. Dark Aria V2. Yeah. Dark, Dark Aria level 2. LV2. So good. Good song. I'm not even as frustrated as I should be about the fact that we went through a whole season and we have no answers. Like we don't it's know true. why we the know first nothing. thing that happened affected everything else. We don't know. They start hinting at this thing called a reawakening, but they don't explain it. They don't Boy, there's look. no ex, mm-hmm. there's not very much exposition here. I mean, they we understand what it is, but you know, Kurt, you go into and probably even demons i can't think of the exact scene but you know oh your kid here's the history of the world while you're eating your noodles it's all right. this exposition you don't get that you get just but, enough yeah they give a little bit here the and there but yeah but we don't know why the opening and closing island things and it was going on yeah yeah, yeah it it doesn't explain it's, it's this bigger world it's so good yeah. and how many how many uh uh seasons of the comic are out there so there's over 200 chapters for the comic. I don't know how many chapters they ended up using for season one. Um, but like I said, they, they they have it plotted out to use the 200 chapters for six seasons. So if they keep it at 12 episodes each, six seasons is 72 episodes, which is, it's a that's a decent amount for, for an anime. Like for instance, one of the, What's what's considered one of the best animes ever is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and it has sixty four episodes. So, okay, seventy two yeah, is a pretty good length for for one that's not a ginormous, well, never ending one like One it's Piece. One Piece, I was about to say, it's yeah. not One Piece with two thousand <laughs> episodes or whatever it is. Uh, but good. So, okay, here's the next one for you to work on, Kurt. What is this anime about? Paniculectomy. <laughs> ah, I can tell you that. And and just before before I jump into that, the reason I didn't start lo- solo leveling this week is because I watched The Acolyte on oh. Disney Plus. Is it any was, good? It's pretty good. Um, so it's the new Star Wars series, mm-hmm. ah, and yes. it takes place before any of the movies, like way before. And so I don't know any of the characters, and it's wonderful to not know any of the characters. It's wonderful to not hear the name Skywalker. Mm, yeah. Um, it's or anybody else I recognized. It was fun. I liked it a lot. So um, all right, paniculectomy. So before I went on my vacation, I went and got a, my physical with my uh with my primary care physician. And uh, how dare you cheat on your wife? I know, and and all my my numbers are good, but one of my goals to talk with him about is getting a paniculectomy, which is loose skin surgery. Oh, I thought that's where you got rid of the a peninsula. Uh, nope, that's a completely different. <laughs> well, kind thing. of. I mean, if you look at how how much loose skin, it, it's kind of a... we 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 kind of call that a Florida wangectomy. <laughs> uh, so, um, no borderline, borderline. Um, so, <laughs> so my doctor 
said, okay, um, that makes sense. How much weight have you lost? And he, you know, he knew, but he didn't know, like, because because he's been monitoring. But Go on. I said, I'm down about 155 pounds. Yes, you are. And um, and then I showed him the front flap of skin from my stomach. Now, kids, if you lose a lot of weight, you're gonna have loose skin. It's just a thing. And one of the downsides is that with all that extra skin, I can't buy clothes that properly fit, mm. particularly pants. <clears throat> so <laughs> what a weird thought to you. So is it enough loose skin to get a scrunchie and tie it up in a little skin no, ponytail? No. <laughs> the, one of those 60s uh you gotta have a corset. He yeah, needs a corset. corset. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> um, so my doctor, I, I said to my doctor. Here's my concern that if my insurance company won't cover it, I can't do it. Like it just, I know roughly what these things cost and there's no way I'd be able to afford it. And then my doctor who is awesome started asking me questions. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, okay let's, like let's pre-authorization here. questions, I assume. Yes, but let's. But how many doctors don't ever listen or don't ever question and just dismiss you? So that's also a hidden point. In what you just said. Yes, they're asking yes. you questions. That's amazing. Yep, and 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 he was asking me questions. He wasn't homeschooled. I knew the way he was asking the questions that he was looking for me to answer in a certain way so that he could write certain things on my chart. <laughs> you're actually doing a tone of voice right now it's so good and so um i he like one of the questions he asked me were was um have you ever had an infection or open sores because one of the honestly now this is a serious a serious note yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the things about having the loose skin is the the overlap the flap it can rub against the other skin that's there and really cause a problem. Like chafing, infecting me bad. Chafing to yeah. infection to it, it becomes a problem. Um, and and uh, I said I'm not currently, but I have yes. And so he wrote that down. He goes, "Okay, I'm going to refer you to this plastic surgeon. Um, he specializes in this kind of operation. He's very familiar with the ways of the insurance companies." Blah 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 blah. And I consider myself fortunate because I talk to people every day whose doctors don't give a crap. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and they said, well, we'll put it in for your insurance company and we'll see what they say. Because there's unfortunately a large amount of doctors who, because they've been beaten down, <laughs> a large amount of doctors who allow the insurance companies to dictate treatment. And that's just it's because they're stuck in a, between a rock and a hard place. Always, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so I have my consultation mid-July. Awesome, man. So what I was telling Joe a little bit earlier and what I was kind of hinting at, Joe, is that the only reason I wouldn't go to Dragon Con is if I can't. Yep. So well, you, The way you described it, you can <clears throat> easily fly down here is all I'm saying. Uh, well, I'd be flying at this point. Anyway, but wow, well, <laughs> that's not a myth, but okay. Yeah, so no, uh, good, good on you, man. Aaron, so, Aaron actually saw your video today and asked about it. It's like, you know what? I haven't really, I'm assuming there is skin, I haven't really seen oh, yeah, yeah, a lot is. of it. And you know, I imagine when he gets happy with where he is in his journey, he will look at that surgery, yeah. And well, and I and I, I've been, I, I've known about it for a long time, and I've thought about. You know, there were there were moments where I said, you know, it's just it's just loose skin. It's my it's what I've got. And and I, and honestly, if if I can't get it authorized, then I'll live with it. And that's that's okay because it's better even with it than than the old way. Absolutely, yeah. So so um yeah, so it's but but I've gotten to the point where I'm going, this is in the way of what I want to accomplish. And so it's, it's a problem. It's, it's now a problem. 
So, <clears throat> so there's so there's that. Now, my goal, honestly, is if they approve me and, and we jump through all the hoops for the insurance company and all that, my my intent is to go, if I can, schedule it this way, to go in right after Dragon Con. Got it. Yeah. That's the reality of it. So yeah. But but yeah, that's that's uh so I've been I've been doing a lot more research on it and videos and blah 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 blah. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, that's very really happy. Cool. Um, so what about this anime? X-Men 97. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's you, Joe. It yeah. is me this time. Uh, so I finally got around to watching it with my wife. My yes. wife. My um, wife. <laughs> and it very good. Very, very, very good. Uh, the worst part about it is that there's not more. <laughs> right <laughs> because it ends on such a huge cliffhanger um but it uh, one thing i was not expecting was how dark it gets at times it it was yeah. a lot darker than i was expecting and it's so much so that my wife and i were like i don't know about letting the kids watch this just yet it, it's oh. it's too much oh. for them that, no, no, that no, mid-season understand that we need to kill Certain characters that Channing Tatum is going to be playing soon. <laughs> Channing Tatum does not belong in the Marvel universe. Is all, I'm saying. all right, so uh, no, they're not connected. They're not connected. It 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 went and like when that happened. Literally, everybody I know that watched it was like, "On, I know, what? right? What did they do?" I now, believe I texted one or both of you at the end of that episode. It just literally said. Well, I'm gonna change it a little bit because not to spoil. But are they dead? Yeah. That and, and of course we didn't know because we were watching it week to week. So you got to watch it uh, straight through. I Joe. think I think they're leading to a comic book storyline. Yeah, mm. you and I had talked about that. Yeah, right? and and in the comics, the X Men have gone into this. Well, Krakoa, which is the mutant island from way early x-men comics like just really crazy early and they took it to the next step and made krakoa a mutant country onto its own and then they decided to pool the mutant resources and figure out hey if we're left to our own devices and we can do kind of whatever we want in terms of like scientific research and whatnot what are we able to do and they got around to resurrection basically <laughs> which which somebody dies uh, their their brains get downloaded into this database basically and they get cloned and then they have a fast because it's comics they have a they have a fast growth and they can re-upload the brain and resurrect them for all intents and purposes i think we're heading in that direction um i don't know you're not yeah i mean yeah could be yeah, um, it's. Uh, I mean, we've already got clones, right? So, <laughs> right. It's it's so good that they they did exactly what I'd hoped they were going to do, and that is, um, use today's writing sensibilities with the aesthetic from the '90s, um, and, yeah. and 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 even that, they updated the look. For some of the characters because it looked too 90s right so well i well, just and, i disagree with what they did with rogue but that's okay yeah that's fine that's fine there have been there's been a lot of criticism over uh the changes of rogue's physique yep yep uh you know there's gonna be criticism I mean, part of it part of the whole thing is p there were haters on on the the whole series from the beginning mm -hmm. because it was happening like for no other reason, but it was happening. So there are there are going to be that uh, there there are going to be those kinds of things. But I don't know. I think the good far outweighs the bad. I agree. I like what they did with Magnus. Uh, how much they changed him. They they did change the artwork on him a little bit as well. But I thought it went. But the story arc. I mean, you could argue this whole season was his story. Oh yeah. You know, and it was it was it was it was good. Yeah. So Joe. Final take, roughly. You and your wife loved it. It was okay. Obviously, you didn't hate it, but yeah, no, you know. it it was very good. I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. 
So, um, yeah. All, all I know is that the aliens, uh, the aliens, they, they did, uh, they did a, a certain character dirty by not letting him keep some, uh, some gear. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 It reminded me of a return to the Wizard of Oz and, uh, Ten bot, whatever that little <laughs> round robot was. Uh, so okay, all right. Uh, so I've learned something about myself in anime. I'm I'm more in Kurt's camp than Joe's camp. Oh. Joe bring up these titles of Bluebird, Yellow Wall, Sunshine, and it's about <laughs> robots attacking demons. Like that makes no sense. <laughs> I have found that I love anime so far that. Their title tells you what it is. Demon Slayer. He slays demons the whole time. I mean, that's that's what Demon Slayer is. Solo leveling. And pretty much it's on the head. This is one, Joe, you recommended to me. I hate you because it was one se- Again, one season. And this one got me even more than solo leveling because I was traveling. So I really binge watched the crap out of it this week. And that's Darwin's game. Oh, Kurt, yeah. What is Darwin's game about? If I tell it, you, it's it a is good one. Asian-based. It's violent. And it's called Darwin's Game. It's very violent. What's it about? Darwin's Game is about 36 really stupid people <laughs> being brought together to compete in games in a gym filled with hazards. Now you're not even <laughs> trying anymore, but you're kind of close. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean I I'm not even trying. So. And, it, and it becomes survival of the fittest. Uh, it's absolutely, it is absolutely one of those. It's not not you know, not the gym stuff, not the coming together. It's it's. I went Darwin app. Awards. That's where yeah, I went. Right, yeah, yeah, it's an app that that affects the real world, and it is very <laughs> so. It's very much that survival game, Squid Game. Um, I was watching another one out of Korea, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Alice in Borderland. Borderland. Thank you, oh, Alice right. in Borderland. Mm-hmm. It's very much like that, except as if you watch House in Borderland, they're they're almost wholly psychologically living in this virtual world of Borderland. Whereas in Darwin's game, it it's still in the real world, but they don't see dead bodies. I thought that was a cool take. You never see a dead body in the real world. You see it in the Darwin's game, but in the real world, it's just these digitized squares of what would be an outline of a body. And they just think it's weird artwork. Uh, there's some way that the app controls regular humans, people who aren't players, that like send them home. So then there can be big events in the city of killing with nobody seeing it. It's it's a little wavy handy, but it's really good. Too. It was a for Black that of- Mirror episode where people had like they they put like either contacts or special implants in their kids' eyes to help shield them from yep violent yep. footage and whatnot yes and so yeah, people, yeah. Kids would be walking down the the sidewalk and if they saw something that was past the censorship level that their parents set it would just or, fun or, or, or blur yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. um it, it again it's another one that doesn't really give you answers but it's it was good i loved it i got to the point where i went to watch it last night and there were no more like are you kidding me i mean i know what the episode was about I was like, okay it kind of makes sense but where's my season two three and four man why am i why am i watching stuff that's current joe <laughs> killing, my man. bad but, uh, uh, yeah the darwin's game was very fun yeah i'll have to look and see if that has been renewed for a second season so with anime sometimes it can be several years before it actually gets picked up for another season uh which it's sad sometimes. Sometimes, a lot of times, it doesn't get picked up for another season. Like, there was one that I watched where uh, they had one season, and then they told the fans if their mobile game reached a certain threshold, that they would make a season two, and it didn't reach that threshold. So good. Don't hold no, me hostage. No yeah. season two, but yeah. So I'm definitely looking for a few more. I'm considering getting a country roll subscription because i i'm using the free one got to watch solo leveling for free all the way through dubbed which is important to me i like subs but i need it because i'm usually doing something else so i, I don't want to have to pay attention as much right. um and then i was watching a few more on the uh adult side not adult it's not like hentai but it, you know it's it's 
more than violence in there a little bit. And it's like, okay, we got four episodes in. Now it's subbed unless you want to pay. Like, uh, I don't know. I need I need it to be something like solo leveling or Demon Slayer, where but where it's locked behind the paywall. Okay, now I will, you know, buy. I don't know. I don't know, Charles. You you disappointed me, man. Oh yeah. Well, you 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 kind of bypassed it, but you said like that robot guy from Return to Oz. Yes, ten ten heart ten bot ten bot. Ten His something. name is TikTok. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but you had to look it up. You didn't know. I don't hear. <laughs> no, you, you. I did yeah, look funny. it up. I, I, I did look I it up because I went. Isn't it like? I, I literally thought, isn't it like TikTok? And I go, that doesn't sound right because TikTok, right? And I looked it up. Yeah, it's TikTok and it's actually spelled the same way. So I do, Random Kid. I watched Full Metal. So Random Kid says, I need to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I watched Full Metal Alchemist, the movie. And then I went back and watched the. Oh, just the movie? No, I th- I'm pretty sure I went back and watched the anime after the movie. Uh, I did. Oh, I did. Well, that's seen the wrong the- I, Well, I get his hand wavy at the time. Oh, this looks cool on Netflix. I've heard the name Full Metal Alchemist. I'll try it. It was good enough for me to go, oh, I like that enough. It was okay, but let me go see what it's all about. And I did watch, I remember, I did watch the anime, but I've not watched Brotherhood yet. So I need to watch. Yeah. Yeah. So Brotherhood is very, I mean, both of them are very good, but they're, they, we've talked about this in the past where the, the first series, Full Metal Alchemist, they, caught up with the source material and then did their own thing. Whereas full metal alchemist brotherhood that was made years later after the, the source material had finished. And so it follows the source material uh, much closer. Both. I, I enjoyed both of them and I've, I actually watched both of them with my wife and uh, yeah, both are, are very, very good. It, I, I will admit that full metal alchemist, the, the first one, it does get, kind of wonky at the end but uh yeah both good and and if you do watch full metal alchemist the the older one make sure you watch the movie that comes after the seasons uh because it has a much more satisfying ending than than the anime itself gotcha um... so we're going to get into bad jet, dad jokes here in a second, but I am going to put this bounty out because I searched Crunchyroll and maybe because I'm not paying for it. I would think it'd show me even if I wasn't paying for it that I'd have to pay for it. But I know that the TV show Supernatural, which huge fan of, I understand this, that's about as cheese as cheese gets. And that's where my level is at is I don't like other cheesy, crappy shows, but Supernatural, the monsters, the, the stories, it, it got me. I liked it. Uh, they did an anime I don't know if it was mm. one season, two seasons. I remember back in the pirate days of the high seas, <laughs> I remember finding it and downloading it. And it just, I wasn't ready. It was very anime with the angles of the face and very anime style of writing, but it's the actual actors voicing the characters. And another thing that got me at the same time was it wasn't canon. It didn't really play into the show, which I thought was a huge mistake. But with the bounties, I'd love for somebody to find a place for me to get the supernatural anime just so now that i'm more accustomed to anime and different styles of anime enjoying different styles i'd like to go back and try that again apparently you can buy it you you can, there's nowhere that streams it but you can buy it on amazon or apple tv all right i might i might i'm i might do one episode to see you know that'd be a good testing the waters to see then if i liked it, i could buy the season 